Hello y'all, this is Fresh Fire Wind Dragon, and welcome back to the Blackwell Legacy. I'm pretty sure this is where I last left off. That door leads to Nishanti's apartment. Last time I figured out that I could right-click things. I can't remember who lives there. To have her describe them. <laughs> that door leads to my apartment. Okay, so what am I doing next? Two of the three girls in the photograph are dead. I wonder about the third. Kelly gave me the photograph in the first place. I probably should return it to her. That's a good idea. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. Yes. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? Do you recognize the girls in this photo? Hmm. Well, that's Joanne. They're on the left. And the other two? I definitely recognize them. They were friends of Joanne. They were up here all the time, but I never spoke to them. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Just a bunch of notices. Guitar lessons, study groups, stuff like that. The sign says, Sandy Chen and Sonata Munier. The sign reads, Sarah Kaplan and Julie Gilbert. The sign reads, Amanda Fay and Karen Schreier. It's a drinking fountain. The sign says, Shelley Chenoy and Sarah Elmale. The sign says, Kelly Hawthorne and Joanne Sherman. Yeah, open. After you. Yeah. What are you doing, Joey? Apparently, that's Joey. <laughs> yes. her, the ghost in the park. She looks so happy here. I wonder what happened to make her like that. I recognize her. That's Joanne. The future Mrs. Davenport? I wonder what that means. I recognize her. That's Joanne. There's a notebook on Joanne's desk. That's Kelly. She gives me the creeps. Could I ask you some follow-up questions, Kelly? <sighs> Fine. Make it quick. Thanks again for lending me that photograph. No big deal. It was just sitting there on her desk. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Midterms are a bitch, but I'm handling it. Or I would be handling it if you didn't keep bugging me. Can I take a look around? What for? Just to see if I can find anything else about Joanne. What? You're a detective now? Well, forget it. Could you tell me about the other two girls in the photo? Oh, them. You know them? Only through Joanne. Do you know their names? Blonde girl is Allie, I think. And the Asian girl? She's Susan. Tried to avoid them when they were here. Really? Why? Look, I need my space. Do I needed her friends around her. So whenever Joanne turned this place into Social Central, I had to split. They didn't care for me, and I didn't much care for them. Do you know anyone named Davenport? No, but it's a stupid name. It's written right over here on Joanne's bulletin board. You think I care what she does? I mean, what she did? I mean, I don't know anyone with that name. Sorry. Do you know anything about Joanne's friend Allie? You mean Miss Blondie? Yeah. I know enough, which isn't much. She was over here all the time visiting Joanne. She was kind of sweet, I guess. Laughed all the time. Oh, cause I was annoying. So it was usually my cue to get out of here. What do you want to know about her? I'm having difficulty finding her. Would you know where she is? I don't know. She could be anywhere. Studying? Partying? Pushing up daisies? Shh. Huh? Nothing. Right? 
I don't suppose you know anything about Susan? Not much. Quiet, I guess. Maybe she just didn't talk around me. I never stuck around long enough to get to know her. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. Can I? No. Joanna and I might not have been buddies, but I'll be damned if I'm gonna let some stranger pop through her stuff. Can I use your phone? You what? It'll only take a second. Fine, fine. Just hurry up. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's the only bed in the room. I guess Kelly got rid of the other bed after Joanne left. The window has safety bars on it. I guess that's kind of ironic in a morbid kind of way. She's covered her wall with rock posters. That, that seems about right. The name Mrs. Davenport was written under a picture of Susan. Allie was one of Joanne's friends, and just like Joanne, Allie is dead. Susan was one of Joanne's friends. I'm not getting into Kelly's bed. She hates me enough already. Can I use your phone again? Again? It'll only take a second. Fine, yeah, whatever. Just hurry up. Hello, could I speak to Joey, please? Hi, Joey? Um... Yes, I had some questions for you. Ah! <laughs> not bad, kid, not bad. If you got something to say, say it quick. Lady Pincushion here is starting to look a little hot under the collar. Yes, hello. Could you tell me what I'm supposed to do now, please? <laughs> do? Look around. Check for clues. We need all the information we can get our hands on. Joey, I'm not sure I can do what you ask me to do. This is stupid. Kid, you have to. Don't back out now. Joey, can you do something about that little bird who is watching me? Huh? You mean Metal Nose? Yes, she's making me nervous. Me? What can I do? Thank you, Joey. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, sure. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. Ah. Ah. Thank God that's over. Over? What do you mean? We got what we came for, didn't we? What exactly do we know? Well... Exactly. That'll get us far. We gotta get back in there and search for more clues. Just some old book review clippings. That's Griff, the P.I. Bear. I've had him as long as I can remember. He's in horrible shape, but I don't have the heart to throw him away. Aw, oh, that grin. Apparently, that's Joey. This TV was here when I moved in. It's a photograph of Auntie Lauren and me. And Joey, too, I guess. Joey? What is it, dear? So what can you actually do? Do? As a ghost. Any powers or anything like that? 
What you see is what you get, dear. I can float through walls as long as I'm still near you. But you can't touch anything. Not really. Not really? Well, you remember that breeze you felt when I manifested myself last night? Yeah. That's the extent of my physical presence. Neat trick, huh? Not really. Everyone's a critic. Can't you stay still? Huh? The way you float all over the room like that, you're making me dizzy. <laughs> you sound like my mother. <laughs> you're just gonna have to get used to it, babe. How did you die? Excuse me? How did I die? Yeah. That's a bit of a personal question, isn't it? Is it? Yes! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. You coming? Yeah, sure. <laughs> He's typically out the door first. The sign says... Hey, it's open! After you. Yeah? Can I use your phone again? Again? It'll only take a second. Fine. Yeah. Whatever. Just hurry up. Hello, could I speak to Joey, please? Hi, Joey? You performed a little trick for me earlier. I'd like you to repeat it for me. Trick? Joey, do you see the pile of papers on the desk? Yeah. I need you to work your magic on them. Uh, sure, sure, I can handle that. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. Nice one. So, congratulations, kid. You committed your first burglary. Is that what I just did? For the greater good, kid. For the greater good. That makes me feel so much better. Looks like standard poli sci lecture notes. It looks like Joanne liked to doodle in class. The last set of notes in this notebook are pretty... Strange. I'd better take a closer look. Looks like standard poly sci- It looks the last- I'd better- Looks like stand- It looks like the last- I'd better- Unless you want to explain that the wall is great conversation, I recommend we continue this in private. Yo, it's open! After you. Yeah? Could I ask you some follow-up questions, Kelly? Bad Fine. Yeah. Make it quick. Do you know anyone named Alexander? No. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. Hmm. I think it's safe to say that these refer to the same person. Yeah, 
Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? Do you know an Alexander Davenport? The name doesn't ring a bell. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Whoever Alexander Davenport is, Susan must like him a lot. He's either a boyfriend or something close to it. Hmm. The school thought that Adrian was a girl because of his name. Alex could also be a girl's name. I wonder. Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? Do you know an Alexander Davenport? The name doesn't ring a bell, I'm afraid. Did you ever meet Joanne's friend Susan? The name doesn't ring a bell, I'm afraid. Do you know anything about Joanne's friend Allie? I'm afraid not. Who is Allie? She's... never mind. It's not important. All right. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Yeah, open. After you. Yeah. Do you know an Alex Davenport? No. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. Please note, Dog Walking Park is closed until further notice. Hmm. I don't want to, but I guess we should talk to the ghost again. Don't worry. I'll do the talking. Hey there. Remember me? No. Maybe. Can you tell me the last thing you remember? Candy. I was eating candy. Candy? Candy to make the deaky go away. Ah. I think I understand. Did it work? I don't hear him anymore, but he did something to me. Now go away. Is your name Allie? Yes, that's me. Allie Montego, a story and song. She kisses the boys, but not for long. Cute. Well, Allie Montego. At least we've confirmed who you are. Can you tell me about your friend Susan? Quiet Sue. Little Lady Lee. Always neat and always fair. Won't say much, but you'll know she's there. Lady... Lee? She had to go away. Stupid deacon. Sending away all my friends. Even the little, little ones. Are you friends with a girl named Joanne? Can you tell me anything else about Susan? Little Lady Lee. Always neat and always fair. Won't say much, but you'll know she's fair. Do you know Kelly? Kelly, Kelly, crazy Kelly, made of ice jelly. We all drove her away, but that was okay. It wasn't the deacon's fault, it was hers. Do you know anyone named Alexander Davenport? On a date with Alexander the Great. Was it an accident, or was it just fate? Can you tell me who the deacon is? The deacon is the deacon. We called him and he came. He got into my head. 
He's scared. He's diseased. He's made me diseased too. Now everyone goes away. Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Joanne? She can't be dead. She's going to change the world. She's not dead. Even though she had to go away. They all had to go away. Because of the deacon. Can you tell me who the deacon is? The deacon is the deacon. We called him and he came. He got into my head. He's scared. He's diseased. He's made me diseased. Now ev- Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out. And we'll be back. That place is creepy. What? You don't like dogs? You know what I mean. There is obviously a connection between the Deacon and these girls, but what? I don't see what one has to do with the other. And Alexander Davenport was listed as being on the hockey team at NYU. It doesn't say anything else about him, though. Allie Montego. Let's see if I can find her. Hmm. She apparently spent some time on a spiritual internet forum. She was looking for information about Ouija boards? Are Ouija boards dangerous? She asked. Can they call anything evil? And if so, how do you get rid of it? Oh, jeez. Another bunch of hacks messing with those stupid boards. This has happened before? A few times. Those things are nothing but trouble. He's right. That's too common a word. Whoever the deacon is, I don't think I'll find him this way. Lee is a pretty common name, but it should narrow things down. I think I got her. Susan Lee, 18 years old, was admitted to Bellevue Hospital last week after an apparent suicide attempt. I think that's our girl. There are so many sites about this and they all contradict each other. There's no way to really tell fact from fiction. You coming? Yeah, sure. I hate this place. I was stuck here for 25 years. Why'd you have to drag me back here, huh? I don't have anyone to call. Whoa! Hold on there. You want to go in, I gotta clear you first. I don't think so. Just a small transistor radio. It's the security guard for the hospital. Apparently, that's Joey. Some kind of motivational poster. It says that this floor is undergoing renovations. That explains a lot. I don't have anyone to call. The girls were interested in Ouija boards and they are all haunted by someone named the Deacon. Could there be a connection? Is Susan Lee a patient here? Susan? Yeah, we've got her. She came in about a week ago. May I visit Susan Lee? Sure. If you're on the approved guest list, uh, what was your name again? Rosangela Blackwell. Sorry, you're not on the list. She'll be out in a week. You can visit her then. 
I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. I told you, you're not on the guest list. Oh, well, that's because... I wasn't on the list at the time. I should be on it now. Oh, really? Well, let's check then. What was your name again? My name is Alex Davenport. Huh. Your name is on the list. Can I go in now? Sure. I'll notify the nurse that you're coming. She'll take you in. Thanks. Medium lie. <laughs> it's like, I just... Alexander? Um, no. I'm sorry. Where's Alexander? He's not here. They told me... They told me he was coming. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I... It's okay. He doesn't want to see me, anyway. Who are you? My name is Rosangela. I'd like to talk to you if that's okay. Are you a doctor? I'm not a doctor, but I can still help you, right? Right. Right. Mm-hmm. So how are you feeling? Fine. That's all. Yeah, I'm fine. Whatever. I'd like to talk to you about your friend Joanne. You know Joanne? Sort of. What, what about her? Can you tell me about her? She's Joanne. That's all. Do you know Joanne's roommate, Kelly? Yeah, sorta. Why? Oh, no reason. Can you tell me anything about Alex? He... I don't know. He's nobody. Just some guy. Do you know what happened to Allie? Yeah. Do you know why she did it? No. Susan, can you tell me why you're here? What happened? Nothing. Just... nothing. Susan, can you listen to me? You're not crazy. I know what happened. You summoned the deacon with a Ouija board. No, that didn't really happen. Susan, you don't have to pretend. I believe you. You do? Whatever happened, I believe you. He still comes to me. The drugs keep him away during the day, but when I sleep, he enters my head and he won't stop screaming. I thought I was crazy, but Joanne and Allie, how could it happen to all three of us? It's impossible. No, it's not. No, it's not. The deacon is real? I believe so, yes. Are you here to help me? I'm going to try. Thank God. I was ready to die here, but... I know. Can I ask you some questions about what happened? Sure. Ask whatever you want. So what happened to you, Susan? What did the deacon do to you? The same thing he did to the others. Got into my head and just wouldn't keep quiet. It was just so noisy inside my head. I had to do something. I saw the speeding taxi and I just... Well, you know, here I am. Were you hurt? No. The driver hit the brakes in time. Taxi missed me completely. Then the stupid cop on the corner dragged me here. Can't even kill myself right. Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Yes. The deacon. He got in our heads. His voice keeps pleading, babbling. Nothing shuts him up. Just keeps going. I just wanted quiet. Peace and quiet. That's why Joanne jumped off the roof. She was willing to give anything to just keep him quiet. Even her life. Can you tell me about Allie? Allie. Oh, I miss her so much. The sweetest, funniest person in the world. You couldn't help but smile with her around. She was always dragging us out on some adventure. She was so... different. Every other girl had pictures of boys on their walls. She had pictures of dogs. She loved dogs. She was studying to be a vet to take care of them. And now she can't. She... she was the first of us to go. Why is that? 
How come the strongest of us was the first to break down? Can you tell me anything about Alex? Alex was my boyfriend, I guess. But since I came here, he won't see me anymore. Just as well. The jerk. Was Kelly involved in any of this? Kelly? Joanne's roommate? Yeah. No. She always left when we came over. She didn't like us much. But that's okay. We didn't like her either. Can you tell me anything about Joanne? Joanne wanted to save the world, but she couldn't even save her friends. After Allie went, Joanne couldn't take it. She blames herself, but it's not her fault. I don't blame her for it. Any of it. It was only luck that I ended up here and didn't die. We've already established this. I don't need to bring it up again. Okay. Can you tell me again what happened to you? Same thing that happened to my friends. I tried to kill myself, but I didn't do it right. And now I'm here. I have to go now, Susan. But I'll come back to check on you again. Mm-hmm. Look, Joey, it's starting to get dark. Yeah, I can see that. Was it the darkness that gave it away? I'm just saying. Please note, Dog Walking Park is closed until further notice. Hmm. Let's talk to that ghost again, Joey. Yeah, sure. Hey there. Remember me? No. Maybe. Did you summon something with a Ouija board? Did I? That's why I'm asking you. I hate those things. I'll never use one again. And why is that? Because... The Deacon, kid. Did you get in contact with someone called the Deacon? The Deacon! I hate him so much. I knew it! Damn kids and your damn Ouija boards. Don't worry, we'll clean up this mess. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out. And we'll be back. <sighs> you all right? This is going to take a long time to get used to. We got the rest of your life, doll. Okay, I think I'm going to have to start here. Stop here. Because the, uh... Video is getting too long as it is. But I think we covered quite a bit. So uh thank you all for watching and this is Fresh Fire Wind Dragon signing off.